Hollywood is all about the bright lights and the big city, but apparently all that glitz and glamour didn't shine bright enough. A major film studio working on Tom Cruise's latest feature film called On a Eugene Business. KEZI 9 News anchor Sean Cuellar shows us the light that's lighting up Hollywood. Coming soon to a movie theater near you, Oblivion, a futuristic sci-fi thriller. But when Dan Patnoid watches the trailer, he's not watching Tom Cruise. You immediately see the light, it gets exposed, it reflects, it hits his face. That's Dan's light. Dan's always had a fascination with flashlights. From the first little Duracells as a child up to the mag lights as a teenager, you can take the light that you left behind at the house and bring it with you and wherever you are you can see is for as long as you want. Okay. In 2010, he and his wife Sarah started up their flashlight company, OverReady, a collaborative creative effort. Torch Lab manufactures the parts and OverReady assembles and sells them. Each flashlight is custom built to order, ranging in price from $62 up to $450. A light could have up to 22 parts. From the lens, a switch, bezel, extender, and engine. Engine is installed. Dan assembles each one, testing it. And then there's high. It's then shipped out. OverReady processes about 60 to 100 orders per week from their website. A relatively small operation that hit it big in December of 2011 when an email arrived. So needs a white flashlight for a Tom Cruise movie. I would like to talk with someone. Dan sent the producers several versions. But even this was not small enough. So we went and created this, the modular pocket stubby. And it's bright. The 2011 version offers 1,100 lumens. This is the next generation, offering 1,600 lumens. OverReady is now working on a model with 2,000 lumens. Keep in mind, a top-of-the-line commercial flashlight only has 700. You can actually feel the heat from that. A blinding light that plays a starring role in this trailer. And we were floored by how much use they had made of the flashlight. All that from a tiny flashlight, just under three inches long. And again, you see it blinding the camera. I would say we made it bright in Hollywood. In Eugene, Sean Cuellar, KCI 9 News.